The Gowanus Canal is connected to the Gowanus Bay, which empties into the New York Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Here we are at the waterline. We're standing in what used to be a vast coastal salt marsh. This is a coastal ecosystem situated in the intertidal zone between land and open water. In this case, we have brackish water, which is a mix of salt and fresh water that is regularly flooded by tides. Before we built hard edges along the canal, you can see on the other side, they're called bulkheads. The salt marsh would have had a soft edge, sort of like you see here at the edge of the salt lot. Only salt tolerant species can survive the tidal inundation of the intertidal zone of a salt marsh. This species called Spartina alternifolia, or salt marsh cordgrass, would have been predominant hundreds of years ago in the Gowanus Creek. This is a species that can actually be rooted in the water and tolerates the saltiness of the water. Its roots collect sediments, creating more marsh, and it provides habitat for mussels, periwinkle snails, oysters, young fish, and its protection from predators for birds. Slightly upland in the intertidal zone is this grass called smooth cord grass. It doesn't like to get as wet, but is just as important as the salt marsh cord grass. <laughs>